Hello there. Welcome to another video of GoDial. In this video, we will be discussing on how to use the GoDial application. To use the GoDial application, the first thing that you have to do is go to the Play Store and search for GoDial Enterprise. You have to install this. Sure, your username will always be in the lower case and your password will be a minimum of eight characters once you're here click on all the permissions and give the access to them You can skip the last one. Once you have logged into the app and given the permissions, on the right hand side top, you will, you will find the option of the lists. Click on that and select the list that you will be wanting to call on. Here, we are selecting the manual list. There, here, next you can see is the contact, the contact number and you can also see the start button. Before doing that, you can also mark your attendance in GoDial. So on the left hand side bottom, you can see there's a location icon. Once you have given the location permissions, you can mark yourself present or and check in also. So to check in just above the dialog button, you will see there's a location icon. Click on that and you've, a picture will be taken. You can see that the attendance has been captured successfully. Now, till the time this button is red, it means you are present and your check-in has been completed. Now, to make calls, you can see after you have selected the list and everything, you can click on the start button. After clicking on the start button, the call will be placed. You can come back and you can select a feedback. These can be customized as per your requirement. So you can talk to your manager and you can also decide the lead score based on the quality of the lead. If you have, if you are working on a deal, so you can also mention the deal value. Once all this is done, you can actually click on the contact and you can update all the other details and you can save as well. You can even add in a note in GoDial. You can obviously set up your reminder. This is the task button. What this does is you can actually schedule a reminder and add it to your Google Calendar as well after selecting the time and the place. Now once you have selected, created a task, you can see as you can add it into your Google Calendar as well. And the reminder has been set. Now, once the call is done, you can also go to the message tab and select a particular template that you want to send and you can send it via three mediums. You have the option of text, you have the option of email as well. You can click on the icons and you can send it from there. You also have the option of setting a reminder right after the call. So you can select call back and you can set a reminder from here as well. So there are two 
there's tasks and then there is this now once all this is done you can click on the next button and you can move on to the next call this is what as a uh, app user you can do day in and day out now the next question that you may be having is we have made the calls but what about the follow-ups so what you can do is you can come to the CRM tab you can come to my contacts and you can actually filter it out as per your requirement so you can select which ones you want to see for now I want we want to see the interested contacts and it's there right in front of me you can click on this you can see the details and you can make the calls from here again to make a manual call what you can do is you can click on the call icon above the settings button and you can type a number from here and make the calls as well you can also go to recent calls and you can add a contact number from your dial pad into go dial you can also paste a number from your from anywhere else or you can open your own contact book and make calls from there as well To know your day-to-day -day tasks, in case it has slipped your mind, you can come to tasks and you can select which day's tasks you have to complete and you can tap from here and again place the call. Make sure the tasks that you are setting here will also be reflecting on the manager account dashboard. Now in case you want to auto dial, what you can do is you can come to advanced and you can enable auto dial next now make sure auto dial next is an experimental feature what this will do is this will continuously keep on dialing the numbers so in case there are a lot of background apps that are open on your phone or your phone has low RAM in that case it may freeze the handset so this is something that you can decide as per your requirement what this will do is this will automatically be making calls one after the other So you can see, once the call is over, if we select a feedback, it moves on to the next call. This is what auto dial next will do. You can check your own reports by coming to the settings tab and here you can come to reports legacy and you can check your own reports as well, your teams. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can always contact our support. Thank you for watching this video. Do like and subscribe for more videos on CRM, Auto Dialers and Go Dial.